Hello Hattrickers, it's time for episode 58 of Let's Play Hattrick and San Marino with Inza Calvahale. It's been a while since the last update and it was because I had a breakdown of my PC, but thankfully now it's running again and we are ready for the next update. The PC wasn't the only thing that messed up a bit. I messed up the scout's call recording for this week, but luckily he wasn't anything worth mentioning and uh, the play in question has been fired already. But let's start out by taking a look at the youth players coming up shortly. I mean, next week we will be promoting Mozzarella and he'll be solid scoring, passable winger and unpredictable as a specialty. And in 15 days we'll be able to promote Pino Maletti. Luckily for his uh, chances of gaining the triple passable status along with the quick specialty, passable playmaking, passable winger, passable passing. Luckily for him we will be playing a friendly this week and uh, that should make it so that he reaches this no problem. Hopefully we can get a little extra sub levels on his uh, skills by then. Let's just take a look at the latest match played in the Youth League. It was against the Lusal under 19s and you do see Moratarella playing to 7.5 stars at this point. We know strikers perform a little better than the rest of the squad star wise. We have Meliti at 5.5 stars in the middle of the park. Looking at the senior training for this week, we did see four relevant pops. Francioni from excellent to formidable defending, Glenn De Manet from inadequate to passable, Martorell from weak to inadequate, and Antri Lemetti from poor to weak. Let's just take a look at the overall training sheet. The pops are marked here, all four of them, and we do see the core players well above 2000 HMS 28, all of them. That's very nice to see. And the transfer compare for Glenn De Manet did actually search quite wildly with this pop, an early pop in regards of defending, but that's very nice to see. And as you might remember, I added this column with the transfer compare a few episodes ago in order to see how we progress, because it's becoming fairly important for us to see a steady increase of the transfer compare compare values as we move on to playmaking training in the next training cycle because we will need to make as much money on the way as possible simply because we do start out with a low budget. For senior team matches last week we did play Fiorentino and won six goals to nothing playing played cool obviously and we did also gain extra time against the main team in Denmark. This week we did also play the team in Denmark and gained 30 minutes extra not really utilized completely, but no cards, no injuries whatsoever. So that was a very nice friendly match for us this week. We are of course approaching the end of the season and the final league match of the season, we were playing against the unknowns. And uh, let's just take a quick look at the highlights in that match. Oh, no, 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 no. Giancarlo Berelli scores directly on free kick in the 33rd minute. Seven goals this season now. Let's see here, a, sh a chance for Leos Lotka. Could it be on the right side? Leos Lotka, low cross. Walter Giorgio Pagnoni reaches it at the far. Oh, it's a goal! Inter Calvejo going up by three goals and it's one of the homeboys. Giuliano Francioni. Oh, we scored another Giancarlo Berilli. Direct free kick. Lovely, love to see it. It did end four goals to nothing for us in this game against the unknowns and perhaps the scoreline didn't quite reflect the strength between the two teams, but uh, we'll take the 4-0 win for sure. Let's take a look at the end standings of IB3 for this season. We do see Charles Lancia clinching the league title with a 1-1 draw away against Berlin United. They'll be playing in a qualification match, but let's just see the second placed Berlin United at 35 points, Charles Lancia at 38. We end up with 33 points and the unknowns with 19 points. And uh, we will have to see what happens with everything and a preferred series for next season. In the qualification match, Charles Lancia will have to play Stol Uls Foren. And uh, it looks like it could be an pretty even game. We do have Janus Lancia ahead in terms of uh, the numbers, uh, but the experience is in favor of the home team in this one. It will be interesting to see certainly if Janus Lancia manages to promote this season. The final thing I want to say in this video is if you've missed the whole thing about the Hattrick International, we are planning to fill an entire series, uh, this one, with active teams for the coming season. We've had more interest than what's needed in order to just fill one division, so that means that we are looking to fill 
one more. So if you have a team in the Hattrick International and you want to play with active managers, let me know either in the comments or in Hattrick or wherever you can. We would like to fill one more series uh, next season in HTI. I will be streaming most of the league rounds on Saturdays and uh, we'll be trying to have a good active community with uh, probably some league picks as well where you will be able to win prizes. I am thinking about hosting a competition for the participants in the league and in an open competition for the community as well so hopefully we'll get to see a few more people joining up for the sister series of v130 in the hgi international thank you so much for watching the video i appreciate all the support you give the channel i'll see you guys soon and have a great off season bye